Welcome to this course on Spring MVC where we are building our first web application step by step. In a series of more than 30 steps, we would be building this application up from ground up. And we are right now in step 35 where we are adding in internationalization to our Spring MVC web application. So let's learn how to add internationalization in this step. Before that, you'd want to set up your code so you can download the code from step33.zip or you can actually download see what code would be there by clicking the step34.md you can click the step33.zip and it would take to you to a page where you can click the raw button and then you'd be able to download the zip the zip and the step-by-step -step details are on github repository in 28 minutes spring mvc step-by-step -step. so it's in 28 minutes spring mvc step-by-step -step. That's the URL as well, github.com in 28 minutes spring MVC step by step. You should be able to Google to it and get to it very quickly as well. And in here, we are right now looking at our step 35. And if you want to install the step 33.zip, what you can do is you can use the installation guide which is present in here. There's an installation guide which helps you to install Java, Eclipse and Maven as well as this zip. So if you already have Java, Eclipse and Maven installed, then the only parts you would be installed interested in is how do you run the application in Tomcat that is given in the installation guide you can look it up and you can use that to run the application in Tomcat now we are all set now to start with step 35 let's add internationalization to our web application in the previous step we learned how to add error handling in this step let's learn how to internationalize our web application internationalizing web application means when users want to see the application in different languages, the entire application needs to be customized for their specific language. In this specific step, we will try and customize a couple of parts of the application. And I would leave it to you as an exercise to customize the rest of the application so that it's internationalized. So let's start with the basics of internationalization. What we would do in Spring typically is we would have a couple of property files. So you would have a property file where you have all the messages that you would want to show in English. You would have another property file where you would store all the messages that you would want to show to a French user and so on and so forth. And there are multiple ways where we can do internationalization. The way we would do that in this particular step is by using something called session. So we would store the locale, I mean the language which the specific user has chosen in his session. And we would have a default locale and we would give the user to chance to change to a different locale for that particular session. If this sounds complicated, actually it's very, very simple. First thing we need to do before we would want to use internationalization is to configure the message sources. So basically we need to define where our messages are, where our text messages are. So that's one. The second thing we would be using is a locale resolver. We would be using a session locale re resolver as we said earlier. So we would be using a session locale re resolver with a default locale English. So we are setting the default locale to English. And then we are using an interceptor. I mean, uh, interceptor is just like we have filters in web.xml. We have interceptors which can intercept requests. And we are creating a locale change interceptor with a parameter language. Let's quickly configure this and see how the whole thing works. So let's go ahead and put these things in Spring web, uh, Spring Context. So I'm opening up to do servlet.xml and I'm copying this particular piece of code down here just below the MVC resources. So what we have is a message source. So we are saying a message source. Where is it reading it from? Class path messages. So now we will need to create the messages files. So I'll go ahead and say right click file. I want to call this messages. The default locale we are setting is English. So messages underscore en dot properties. What I'll also do is create messages underscore French dot properties so that we can see our application in French as well. We have the application in French and we have the application in English. Not really. I mean, we have a couple of property files which can accept properties in English and also I mean we can accept, accept messages in English and French so that's what we are picking up in here message source and the local resolver we are using a session local resolver and the parameter we are seeing is language in the list to do's.jsp we have a caption in here 
your to do's are something so what we want to do is we want to internationalize this so if somebody is coming in french we would want to show the message in french and somebody is coming from an english speaking country or english speaking locale we would want to show him this in english i would want to use a tag from spring so what i'll do is i'll go to the header.jspf and quickly add that tag in so i'll copy this actually the tag which we i would want is in this particular tags thing and i'll give it a name spring so now this is ready so i can go ahead and use that particular tag in here in the caption so i can type in spring colon colon message and one of the things that i would need to pass into this is code so what message do i want to display i want to show to do dot caption in here what i'll do is i'll go and put to do dot caption in the english properties so english properties your to do's are in english i'm just putting something in the language so that it shows up so now in the french one i'm saying your to do's are in french actually what we should have put in here is the translation in french but just to keep it really simple i'm saying your to do's in french and i'm saying in the english properties your to do's in english let's keep it very simple what i'll do is i'll need to restart the server for picking up the changes let's log in now i'll go to the manage your to do's by default it's coming up in english because that's how i've configured the application to come up but when somebody from if somebody who wants a french login comes in we would actually need to pass in a parameter language is equal to fr so this is what we would do we would he redirect a french user to this url so http localhost 8080 language is equal to fr and now he would be redirected to the user id password in 28 minutes dummy you are now in the welcome page now if we we only configured the to do page so you now you see this is in french so let's go ahead and add in a little bit more on the welcome page as well all that i did need to do to internationalize the page is now go to the page so i would want to go to the welcome page so i'm opening up the welcome page and i would say here instead of welcome i would say welcome dot caption and now i can open up the property files star messages both the property files we need to add the new property for this welcome dot caption in english welcome in english in the french one welcome in french so let's wait for the context to pick it up okay now that's ready so i can go ahead and now go to the home we are already in the french context so you can see that the welcome in french welcome in french in 28 minutes if you go to the to do you'd see to your to do's in french so basically what's happening in here is based on whether based on the login url based on whatever language that we are passing in the login url the entire application behaves differently so for a french guy you'd see everything in french you can go ahead and add in spring more spring messages wherever you'd want you can even replace description target date and is completed by spring messages and then you have the complete application internationalized all that you need to do is whenever i let's say i need a spanish thing i need, just need to copy this and translate it into spanish and have it in here and just ask give a kind of a different url for the spanish guys just say question mark language is equal to sp or i mean whatever the locale for spanish is so now i log out and i come in without with the default url then you'd see that the application would be in english so welcome in english manage your to do's to do's in english however the user was coming through a different url let's say question mark language is equal to fr which is the french language somehow firefox is weird it's taking me somewhere else so type in http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 language is equal to fr and now you would see welcome so that's basically how internationalization work we use a session to identify a user and that's why once user has logged in we are seeing that everything is in his specific language we could have also used cookies the there is also something called a cookie local re resolver which would be resolving it resolving based on the cookies which are on your browser in this step we looked at internationalization what we want to do is based on the locale of the user we wanted to switch to a different language to use in the particular application we used 
a message bundle we created couple of properties messages underscore en and messages underscore fr and we use the local resolver which was the session local resolver to resolve the local for us and then we started using something called spring message wherever we wanted to internationalize we started putting it in spring message and we would put the specific message in the resource bundles in the next step we would be moving towards one of the fun parts i mean of late we are moving a lot towards the web services i mean specifically rest web services and in the next couple of steps we would be trying to get a little basics on spring rest services if you loved this video then i'm sure you'd love our course on spring mvc step by step on udemy 2 you should find a link to it along with the discount code in the description course would take you over setting up an application with spring mvc step by step in about 27 easy steps so all the code that we have is on the github repository and the code would take you through all the steps and explain you all the tips and tricks that you need to be able to use to develop an application using spring mvc good luck see you in the course